So today we are doing the most important part of your makeup routine and that's taking it off. I know that this can be kind of annoying and tedious, but it feels so good at night and it is just so good for your skin. I never go to sleep with makeup on. So the first thing that we're going to do is make our own eye makeup remover. So what I do is I take a mason jar and I fill it with warm water. And then I'm going to go in with No Tears Baby Shampoo and I'm going to take a tablespoon of that. Also going to take a tablespoon of olive oil and also mix that into my little mixture that I have here going on. And then you want to put the lid back on, shake it all up until it's nice and foamy and voila, you have your own do-it-yourself eye makeup remover. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is I like to change and get into my comfy pajamas. I'm so weird. I wear um, matching pajamas almost every night. I like the ones from Victoria's Secret and the ones from um, Old Navy and Target, but whatever. That's a whole different kind of video, right? Okay, so the first thing that I do is I get into my pajamas. I don't like to wash my face in the clothes that I was wearing because then makeup could be like, get on that. So the first thing you want to do is get into whatever you're going to be wearing for bed. And then I put my hair up. Okay, so we are going to be using our fingers for this. So the first thing that I like to do is wash my hands. Okay, so me personally, I always start with my eyes. So we're going to take that mixture that we made and I just start dipping my fingers in there. And you can use um, like a, one of those cotton ball, like the flat pads. I'll show you what those look like because I do go on with them after. But I just always start with my hands. And I just start rubbing that in my eyes. And if I was wearing um, false lashes, then what I would do is, um, well, why can I talk? <laughs> if I was wearing false lashes, then I would just take them off first. I don't like do this step with false lashes on, which I'm sure you already knew, but I just thought I would mention that. Then after my eyes kind of look scary like that then I'll start rinsing it off with warm water with nothing else on and now I'm going in with face wash I'm using the purity face wash by philosophy I have been loving this I wish I gave this this face wash a chance earlier before I already made up my mind about it that this was not a face wash for me because it didn't have any acne fighting ingredients in it but what I did notice is it does help with acne because it removes everything on your face. Like seriously, everything. Almost to the point where it dries it out a little bit, but I'm fine with that with a full makeup look that I was wearing today. I need all that to come off before I go to bed. And now I'm just taking a cotton pad and I dipped it in that same mixture that we made before and I'm just taking off whatever didn't come off. This helps so much. You will not wake up with any residue of makeup in the next day and it's perfect because I really hate that. And then I'm going in with coconut oil. This is my nighttime moisturizer and I also use it to take off whatever was left around my eyes. It does help with under eye circles as well. It just really hydrates and moisturizes that area. Especially because I said that this face wash is a little bit drying. The coconut oil just completely restores my face with moisture. And it's coconut oil, so it's nice and good for you. And then I take my washcloth and I sort of wipe off whatever was extra on there because it does get a little oily. Right now I'm just taking a clean Q-tip and I'm just cleaning up my eyes just a tiny bit more because I did line my waterline today. 
And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.